Well, I just had to put a couple of hoses, or I am putting a couple of hoses on my tractor, my front end loader. And someone asked me, I'll just go ahead and answer this question for you. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to show you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I had to put on the back two. And um, uh, I had to remove the front two just to be able to get to them. Uh, that one especially was hard to get to because this one and this one and this one was in the way. Anyway. Uh, someone asked me about pressure, about uh, when you when you undo hoses, is there a lot of pressure? Uh, if you will, make sure you, of course the tractor is is, uh, is not running. And on the Kubota, if you push it all the way up, you have what's called a float position. And that pretty much takes all the pressure uh, off the system. Uh, and then I always rock it back and forth. Uh, which would be the bucket going up and down like that. And uh, just to relieve any pressure that might be in the system, rock it all three or four ways. And then, uh, then they start pulling. You'll have, you'll have leakage, but you will not have, um, it won't be a pressure leak, at least not on my tractor. I don't think yours would be either. So that's just uh, a little tip for you. Um, it was the one that was leaking was the one that goes right there and comes to right there, which is that. Let me show you on the other side. It's this one here, which I you can see is pretty new. I just replaced it a few uh, weeks ago. Anyway, comes off with a with a 90 and it comes down and hooks in there. So that's one I'm replacing on this side. And I uh, just wanted to, to talk to you about the... Um, the pressure, you know, someone asked and was a little worried that uh, when they um, when they change hoses, would there be a, a, a problem with, uh, you know, getting sprayed by hydraulic fluid? Uh, not that I know of, not on any tractor that I know of, but uh, I always crack it and uh, just see what's gonna happen. Don't just, uh, well, anyway, as you crack it, you'll see. Like I say, it'll start leaking because it there there is, obviously there's, uh, there's uh, fluid in the hoses coming from here, so just gravity itself is going to say that, that that hose is full of fluid and it's going to drain out. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that real quick video. Um, changing uh, hydraulic hoses. Pretty easy to do. Pretty self-explanatory. Just kind of sometimes kind of hard to get to. And uh, so this one that I'm doing right there that goes to the front of that um, ram, hydraulic ram, will come to right there. This one that goes with the L-shaped fitting will come to right there. And when you're in doubt, you say, oh my gosh, I'm going to hook these up wrong. Just look at the other side. Just figure out what the other side does, and you'll know what to do on this side. Pretty self-explanatory. You can always color code them, or you can always write numbers on them, or whatever. If you don't, I, it's kind of like doing the rear brakes on a car. I wouldn't undo all all four of these and all four of these at the same time. Then you may have a little problem trying to figure out where what goes where. But take a picture of it before you uh, do it, or look at the other side. Whatever floats you boat. Changing the hoses. One of them busted. This one was busted, but the other one looked pretty ragged. The other one. This is the one that busted. Now, I don't see anything wrong with it. It could have been leaking here at the at the joint, but the other one was not leaking, and yet it's got a, a pretty good size wampus out of it. Pretty good size chunk. So it's only a matter of time. I'm gonna keep that one as a spare because I know it's not leaking. I'll write good on it, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. Uh, about a hundred bucks for these two hoses. All right. All right, we're gone.